All right, people, welcome back to No Filter MMA. This is your boy BJ, and I'm here with another video short, guys. Tonight, we're here to talk about Miranda Maverick versus Aaron Blunt. I said tonight, today, this morning, we're here to talk about Miranda Maverick versus Aaron Blanchfield. You know, and this fight, the, the, the original fight was Montana De La Rosa versus uh, Macy Barber. And then Montana fell out. Montana De La Rosa fell out. And then Aaron Blanchfield stepped in, if I'm not mistaken. And then when Aaron Blanch, then uh, Macy Barber fell out. And then we got Miranda Maverick, guys. This is a fight. <clears throat> this right here, man. You know, when I, at first glance, I thought Miranda Maverick. And then I went back and watched Aaron Blanchfield, what she did in Invicta. And then I watched what she, you know, her fights that she's had in the UFC. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, you know, the difference between the difference between Aaron Blanchfield and everybody else that Miranda Maverick has fought. You know what I'm saying? That, that win against Macy, I mean, that loss to Macy Barber was close. But I see how they gave it to Macy Barber. You know what I'm saying? Because Miranda Maverick didn't really do anything to put Macy Barber in any really sort of position, in any bad position. So with that being said, um, you know, it's Aaron Blanchfield comes out and she comes out hard and she comes out fast right out the damn gate. Like right out the gate, Aaron Blanchfield is looking for a way to take your damn head off. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's throwing hard punches. Her ground game is good. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's 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 ready to fight. And see, somebody like Miranda Maverick, who comes in and takes a slower approach, which has really surprised me um, that Miranda Maverick has been able to do what she do, has done so far in the UFC. And the reason I say that, people probably going to bark at me about that, but it's just she's such a slow starter, and she doesn't really have a lot of pop in her shots like she's fought some girls who um who do have pop in their shots like macy barber you know what i'm saying and macy being able to land those big shots in that third round you know what i'm saying like i mean think about ketlin vieta versus yana kuniskaya you know what i'm saying yana started at the end of the fight yana, yana started landing big shots you know what i'm saying yana started landing big shots therefore it swayed the judges to yana kuniskaya because she was the one going for the kill you know what i'm saying macy barber was going for the kill against miranda maverick she wasn't playing with miranda maverick in that third round the lady into that second round into that third round she was trying to she was trying to take miranda maverick out you know what i'm saying then you seen you know you started to see that wear on miranda you started to see miranda start to feel that power you started to see Miranda, you know what I'm saying, slow down a little bit, you know, you've seen that look on her face, you know what I'm saying, like, she was, I feel like Miranda Maverick was really worried in that third round, you know what I'm saying, but Aaron Blanchfield, on the other hand, you know what I'm saying, I feel like Aaron Blanchfield is just gonna, gonna take, gonna take something to Miranda Maverick that, for one, I think she stopped Leona Jojua from doing that by, by hitting the nose, so that kind of stopped Jojua from, from, from going after her, um, but, Aaron Blanchfield, man, I just think Aaron Blanchfield gonna go after, you know what I'm saying, um, she's gonna go after Miranda Maverick, and I, 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 I can't help but, listen, I didn't make this, my mind made this, this comparison, okay, I, I see Aaron Blanchfield, the way she swings and the way she goes after her opponents is kind of like Norma Dumont in a way, like, you know, like, people gonna say, what, but I'm t it reminds me of Norma Dumont, the way Norma Dumont, her, it's like her goal is to punish whoever she's in there with. You know what I'm saying? She punished Aspen Ladd. She punished Felicia Spencer. Like, you know, she punished Ashley Evan Smith. And I feel like Aaron Blanchfield brings that same type of thing to, to a fight. You know what I'm saying? Like, those shots that she's throwing, those shots got bad intentions on them. Like, she's trying to hurt. She's trying to hurt you with those shots. You know what I'm saying? So, anyways, with that being said, guys, let me know how you feel about Aaron Blanchfield versus Miranda Maverick. I'm picking Aaron Blanchfield in this fight, you know what I'm saying? Because I think she can fight Miranda Maverick anywhere. I think, um, you know, Miranda Maverick, but her Miranda Maverick's fight IQ is really good. She made some really smart choices in that fight with Jillian Robertson, you know what I'm saying, by, by, by using her weight and her size. Because, obviously, she was, I mean, she's clearly a weight class above a fighter like Jillian Robertson, you know. Um, somebody made the comment the other night that they don't know Jacob Janowski shout out to Jacob from bloody canvas he said he doesn't know 
really how long he thinks that Miranda Maverick can still make 135, make 125. You know what I'm saying? So she made some really smart choices in that fight with Jillian Robertson. Um, she went after it in the fight with uh, Leona Jojua. You know what I'm saying? So there's good things on both sides. But if I have to put my finger on a winner, I'm going Aaron Blanchfield, man. I think Aaron Blanchfield can beat. I think she'll beat Miranda Maverick by decision. You know what I'm saying? So. Anyways, guys, let me know how you feel. Aaron Blanchfield versus Miranda Maverick is going down. This fight is happening. It's going to be a good fight. This is going to be a good fight. So let me know what you think, guys. This is your boy BJ back from No Field Champion. Man, drop those comments in the comment section. Hit that like, hit that dislike. And if you guys haven't already, hit the damn subscribe button and your boy is out.